tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Nang pumutok ang pandemya noong 2020 ng ating ito'y maramdaman at talaga naman ang buong bansa ay naapektuhan, iba't ibang industriya ang uh, pinabaksak, if I may use that word, allow me. At uh, ngayon, kailangan nating uh, mas maintindihan at uh, magbigay ng angkop na informasyon para sa ating mga kababayan at sa ating mga manonood. Kaya naman, we all know that the COVID-19 pandemic has suddenly and deeply changed our lives in a way comparable with the most dramatic events in the history, such as World War. With millions of uh, people infected around the globe and already thousands of deaths. There is still a great uncertainty on this actual evolution of this crisis, as well as on the possible post-crisis scenarios, which depend on a number of variables and factors. Example are the treatment, the vaccine, or some kind of immunity. Despite the optimism enforced by the positive results and recently achieved a produce of vaccine, uncertainty is probably still somehow the predominant feeling. Okay? From a more philosophical perspective, the COVID-19 drama is also a kind of stress test for our global system and probably an opportunity to consider some aspects under pinning it right and as well as its sustainability just to okay? uh, address this okay guys if a vaccine was administered na bakunahan po kayo at may naramdaman kayo na nilagnat kayo nag chills kayo or parang may flu like symptoms kayo that's normal okay kasi that is how you would know that the vaccine is working in your body why kaya ka nagpapakuna it's because the vaccines are mimicking the causative agent. Ginagaya yung stimulation para yung katawan mo gumawa ng antibody. No? So, pag may symptoms ka na nilalagnat ka, no? nag-chills ka, and it would actually regress naman. Okay? Mga minor side effects lang to na nagpapatunay na the vaccine is actually working kasi gumagana yung katawan mo, gumagawa siya ng antibody. Um, anything that is administered in our body kasi um, are foreign to the body. So, ang gagawin ng immune system mo, lalabanan niya ito. And these are the some of the few mechanisms, physiologic mechanism, how the body reacts pag may pinasok sa katawan natin. For example, the vaccine. The vaccine okay. ay parang gagayahin yung nagkakos ng sakit. And it's going to be introduced to your body on a mild basis lang po para mag-react. Now, pag nag-react na yung body mo, gagawa na ng antibodies panlaban ang katawan mo against this causing agent. So, parang, pag meron ka ng antibody, hindi na ganun kataas ang chance mo na mahawa o magkaroon ng sakit. Prevention pa din siya. It will lesser the risk. But not totally um, mm -hmm. clear you out. Kasi kahit na, for example, nagpa-vaccine ka nga, you completed the two shot. It was been more than two mm -hmm. weeks. You already have an antibody. Okay? Um, and then exposed ka, nagpabaya ka, lumabas ka dyan sa daan, namasyal ka, wala kang face mask, may face shield, and may exposure ka ng tatlong tao na you don't know, positive pala. And you, hin you inhale the virus. So, mag mag mataas ang risk no, na magkasakit ka pa rin. The system of okay? a person is very complicated. That's why ma-admire mo talaga na ang galing-galing ng katawan natin. Despite having having this body, our body can create and respond to different numbers of bacteria and virus. Di ba? For example, everyone, if you have a loved one, a relative, a friend, or anyone na, na feeling nyo po ay COVID suspect, no, have them see a doctor immediately. Kasi I always say, early treatment is much more better okay because management delay and treatment denied yeah yun nga doc no which Since is that... have have been a practice recently kasi nga takot na pumunta sa hospital um takot magpunta sa mga clinic no 
uh, there's nothing to be afraid of. Kasi hospitals are doing their maintenance and um, infectious infectious control, safety. So, you can bring them to the hospital, you can bring them to the clinic. Eh, Doc, baka naman kasi kung pulan may COVID na pasyente, mahawaan ako. No, uh, hospitals are segregating those who are are COVID suspect and clean patients. Hiwalay po yun. I think mm-hmm. yun yung isa sa mga bagay na dapat linawin natin. Kaya kung yung mga tao na takot pa rin pumunta sa hospital, don't be afraid. Hospital management are doing their job and rest assured na they are segregating. Kasi, why are we doing this um, health declaration form? Why are you are being asked to provide the forms na with the symptoms? ba? Diba? Um, I yes. don't think magpapapasok sila ng my fever, ng my cough. They wouldn't do that. So, rest assured that they can come inside to the hospital, visit their uh attending physician, uh, physician and have themselves seen. Thank you, Doc. It's very, but Sir. it is connected with uh, illness. So, yung sinasabi niya na self-medicate, if it can't be helped, sabi natin na hindi mm-hmm. niya talaga kaya pumunta sa doktor, malayo siya, then you can do the basic Um, over-the-counter medication. So, ulitin ko kasi yung iba basic to, pero mali pa rin yung pag So, others are drinking paracetamol. No? Paracetamol is an anal- analgesic antipyretic. What does that mean? Ang paracetamol, p- pwede sa lagnat, pwede sa pain. That's why if you would look at the um, yung pakete niya, analgesic antipyretic. Okay? Mm-hmm. Antipyretic para sa lagnat, analgesic para sa Um, pain. Now, if you're going to take very parasitamol. complicated defense as well, it's all a mm-hmm. matter of survival. ba? Diba? Parang, kung ako, for example, ang virus sa isang tao and then na-expose siya sa isang agent or bak- yung bacteria, agent or gamot na papatay sa kanya, automatic yun, magde-develop siya ng strain to protect himself in order to survive the mm-hmm. killing agent. So, The same way for this virus, they are mutating, in, uh, the strains are mutating with different factors and at the same time, the virus itself is trying to survive. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, that's why ka, that's why actually pangit ang mga presentation ng COVID ngayon, this year, compared last year. Um, if I just may share, during so, the early days, really talaga sa time with the family and personal life because I was a resident training that time. Mm-hmm. and na tempo pa na kasagsagan ng covid nang pa kami noon that time kasi mm-hmm. syempre this was very new that's why it's called nobel kasi bago siya and at that mm-hmm. time we were exerting effort focusing every um outsource that we can use to prevent this and manage patients who had covid so ibang iba talaga dati though I can say na nagbago yung perspective ko when it comes to career path and decisions. So, it's not that hindi na ako nag... nag um, I decided to stop now mm-hmm. the medical or clinical aspect. It just so happened na during this pandemic, I I'm more focused on research kasi it's one of the the strengths that I have. Kasi ang bawat doktor naman, iba-iba ang, iba ang, iba-ibang strengths and weaknesses. So, it just mm-hmm. so happened na it triggered me na why don't I go to the clinical research field? I also thought na if I am a doctor, I can save lives one at a time. But in the research field, kasi my perspective was I can save hundreds or thousands of lives in a one impact if if the medications that I'm handling would be approved or okay. Um, mm-hmm. Likewise, dati kasi before COVID, madaming pasyente, uh, madami nagpapacheck up. Pero this pandemic kasi, not only yung mga COVID lang, no? yung all around, um, konti na lang ang pumupunta sa mga hospital because natatakot nga sila. They had the stigma of having the risk of getting COVID. So, mm-hmm. ang laki ng pinagbago. Pero I, I might say na, One of the good things na nakita ko during this pandemic, nagkaroon ng discipline ng mga tao. And at the same time, um, so, we have to be prepared. Um, during the early phase, kasi you don't know what's going to happen. And during that time, marami ang hindi rin nagsasabi ng symptoms, hindi nagsasabi ng totoo. Uh, mm-hmm. Siyempre, dahil takot sila. Takot sila na malibelan, takot silang mabag- babansagan na COVID. So, we do understand. Pero, I would... I would um, 
request to encourage everybody kung may nararamdaman kayo tapos parang kahit kahit pa paano may idea ka sa covid tell them to your doctor wag niyo itago na naglagnat kayo na naguubo kayo kasi may mga ganun eh hindi nila sinasabi yung totoong nangyari it would mm-hmm. affect the management the treatment the diagnosis and not only that you're going to put everybody at risk so wag kayong matakot kung kung nilalagnat kayo na wala kayo ng panlasa um inuubo kayo tapos may exposure kayo tell them inform them sa triage pa lang so you would be addressed and guided accordingly totoo naman so doc it was it's a very superb job for everybody i know that we have sacrificed a lot though you feel na we are not much appreciated or you feel that um, we are overworked But then again, our oath, our calling to serve, um, do no harm, and take care of patient has still been our priority. And I salute everyone. So keep holding on. I know right now it's very tough because the cases are, are upsurging again and most of us mm-hmm. are tired. But then again, um, if you were tired, um, you feel that you're burnt out, rest, but don't quit. Okay, for, for those who are wanting to be doctors and are currently in med school continue your goal finish your med school take the board exam and um, help us fight this pandemic nowadays we need more doctors no the ratio of filipino patients to one doctor is very high hindi kakayanin lang ng numbers ng present na doctors ngayon we need more doctors we need more nurses we need more allied healthcare um Um, warriors to fight this pandemic. Thank you so much, doctors. Nagiging emotional ako habang min- sinasabi mo yun. You have to be relaxed. You have to be more confident. Always remember to have the safety precautionary measure that is being advised. Okay? And keep safe during this pandemic. And when in doubt, no, um, if you want to do self-medication, Um, I would suggest everybody to always put it in mind if it's getting worse, seek a professional doctor immediately to guide you. That's all, sir. Thank you so much again, It's, Doc. Uh, talaga, uh, true, no? And um, why? Because I feel how our frontliners fought this uh, battle. I know that there are many lives that, uh, you know, sacrificed and uh, ang hirap no sorry na papatulala talaga ako kasi uh, the, the conversations been through a lot of episodes regarding with COVID-19 mapapolitical psychological uh, and now we are now very fortunate because we are with uh, a professional doctor who is a true frontliners and from his words we know and then we also understand how this battle for more than a year now is going on and um sa pagkatapos uh, laban sa ating mga local government officials from the mayors, councilors and to the barangay level we thank you for being with us through this time maraming salamat po stay tuned for the next episode only here on big media <laughs>